So this yoga class is um, lying down completely. You can still do yoga even whilst you're lying down. Um, I've got a block as well in this class. So um, we're just gonna use it. If you haven't got a block, you can use a book, maybe a book wrapped in a blanket or a towel or something to make it a little bit softer. Um, but yeah, this is a full body yoga class, but lying down. So come down to the ground and we're gonna start with some breathing and noticing how we feel today. So relax all of your limbs. So put them in a place that feels comfortable and then take some smooth, steady, long, deep breaths all the way down into your belly. So the back of your body is supported and feeling really balanced and even. And the front of your body is just gently rising and falling as you breathe in and you breathe out. And you might notice other thoughts creeping into your mind about what you've done today or what you've got coming up next just try and focus on the here and now so the breathing or if you're like me outside right now maybe noticing any sounds noticing the air temperature, the feel of the air on your skin. Whilst you focus on the breath. Okay, we're going to start with some neck movements. So just gently tip your head side to side so looking over the right shoulder and the left shoulder this will give your neck a bit of a stretch whilst also massaging the back of your head on the floor and once you've done an even number both sides come back to the middle and we're now going to do a side stretch so bringing our left shoulder over towards the left of the mat and both of our feet over towards the left side so this is called banana pose the shoulders and the heels are towards the left but your right hip is over towards the right and you're getting a stretch along the right side of your leg and your body. If you'd like to, you can br bring both arms up above the head. And we'll start to stretch into the shoulders as well. So banana over to the left. And breathe into the right lung, the right side. Long, smooth, deep breaths. And if you want to make it a bit more, what you can do is bring your right ankle over your left one and then maybe grab your right wrist with your left hand and gently use that pulling to stretch your right side even more. Breathing in, feeling that stretch, right shoulder to right hip especially. And then we'll come back to the middle, bring our heels in, shoulders in, and then over to the right. So right shoulder over to the right, both your heels towards the right side of the mat or even off the mat, and maybe your left hip over to the left. Banana pose on the left. 
keep the arms above if you like that feeling or you can bring them out to the side slightly just as long as you're getting a comfortable stretch of your left side breathing in feeling the left ribs expand and then if you'd like a bit more of a stretch lift the left heel over the right cross your ankles and then grab your left wrist with the right hand and maybe give it a little pull stretching and opening the shoulder a bit more as well breathe in deeply to the left lung And then come back to the middle. Next, I want you to put the arms out to the sides, parallel. So straight out like you're making a T shape with your body. And then stamp your feet, uh, heels behind your hips. So your knees going up directly to the sky. Make sure your feet feel equally balanced, hip width apart. And we're just going to do a twist now. So we've done a side stretch and now we're going to do a twist. So we breathe in, stay still. And then we breathe out. The knees just go over to the left. So you choose how far. Breathe in, they come to the middle. And then breathe out, knees go over to the right. So you should start to feel a bit of a twist in the spine and the torso now, but also a stretch in the legs. So always inhale to the middle, exhale to the side. And you might go a little bit further with your knees. Inhale to the middle, exhale over to the right. And then we're gonna come up to the middle and then over to the left with the knees and we're going to stay there just for a, again a few breaths what you might want to do is slide the right knee up in line with the left a bit more and you can even bring your left hand on the outside of your right thigh if you can reach it for a bit more weight so we're using gravity on our own bodies to make the stretch a bit deeper Keep breathing as we twist. And even if you'd like to, look out over your right hand and imagine your spine sort of twisting all the way along, right from the bottom to the top of your neck. Take a few smooth, steady breaths, allowing gravity to relax you. And then if you had your hand on your thigh, bring your knees up to the middle, your head back to the middle. And we'll move the knees now over to the right and hold there for a little while, same longer poses holding letting gravity do the work breathing into the left side allowing the ribs to expand with your breath and then the optional extras again Bring your right hand somewhere on your left thigh. You can even bring the knees up higher if that feels good. And look out over the left arm, maybe gazing at your fingers or keeping the eyes closed, whichever you prefer. Allowing gravity to just twist your spine right from the bottom all the way up to the top and 
focus on your breathing and then an even amount of time let's bring the knees back up to the middle the head back up to the middle and we're next going to do bridge pose so the arms going to come down by the sides next um, again check that your feet are slightly apart from each other in line with your hips the knees pointing directly up and you might want to walk your heels back in a little bit again just try it and adjust if needed so we're really thinking about a rectangle on the floor under your hips and shoulders the palms are face down and you're again trying to make good contact with your arms beneath you you're going to breathe out and then when you breathe in press into the feet just to lift the hips off the floor and then breathe out lower the hips back down so this might just be a small amount or a larger amount up to you so breathing in press into the feet press into the arms maybe lift a little higher maybe and exhale to lower so keep moving with your own breath speed inhaling to lift point the knees forward um, exhale to lower and you might find you're able to gradually get a little bit higher with the hips maybe bringing the shoulders involved a bit more exhaling relaxing the spine back down in between each time and then the next time you get to the top we're going to hold here so really think about a long line from your shoulders all the way down to your knees the front of your body is long if you want to you can bring your shoulder blades in a little bit Keep pressing through the feet, strong in the legs, the back of your body working quite hard to hold you here. Use the breath to send energy to the muscles. Keep breathing. And last big inhale, fill up. Feel your ribs expand up to the sky. And then exhale, lower gradually one vertebrae at a time. All the way back down. You might want to take more than one exhale to lower gradually everything back down and we'll meet back in yeah lying down pose okay next is a little bit of core work so i want you to bring your palms to your thighs in fact if you wanted to you can just move your knees around i know Maybe just rock your knees left to right because they have been in the same position for a little while. Palms on the thighs. Breathe out. Breathe in. Stay exactly where you are. And then as you breathe out, you're going to slide the palms up as you lift your head and shoulders off the mat. And then inhale, lower them back down. So this can be a really small move. We're always exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower. We're trying to keep a distance between chin and chest, almost like you've got a grapefruit under your chin. And we're trying to lengthen the crown of the head back. So it's better to do a small move than crunch your neck. And think always, as exhale, you pull in the tummy, lift up, inhale, lower, and almost the tummy inflates. One last one, exhaling up, and then inhaling lower. And then relax the arms, stretch the legs out long. Rotate your wrists and ankles. 
one way and the other. Any movement that feels nice, that feels good for you. And then we are going to bring our feet back, uh, standing on the mat behind our hips. Knees pointing up again. We're going to cross, we're going to do um, recline pigeon pose now. So right ankle crosses over the left knee. So your right knee's pointing out towards the right and you kind of got some, um, yeah, angles, position, triangle shapes going on with your legs. What I'd like you to do next is to try and lift the left foot off the floor and hold the left thigh in towards you. Now this can be behind the thigh, the side of the thigh. It could, if you reach, so you're reaching your right hand through the gap, you could maybe reach your left calf, finding a stretch for you. So this is stretching the right hip. We're trying to bring the left knee in towards the chest. Again, work within your limits, listen to how your body feels. Use the breath to send energy, oxygen to your right hip and thigh. Recline pigeon pose. And then an optional extra, wherever you're holding your left leg, you could try and straighten it a little. So your left foot going up towards the sky a bit. Only if you want to, you can rotate the ankle when it gets up there. This is really good for blood flow. If you're on your feet a lot of the day, having a leg upside down, with the, yeah, very good for your veins, helping protect against varicose veins. And then let go of the left foot back down towards the floor gently and release the right ankle, the right foot back. And you just notice the difference between your legs once you've been stretching them. We'll repeat on the other side. So left ankle over the right knee is the first step. And this might be enough stretch in that left hip, or you might want to grab the sides of your right thigh. So holding on the sides, maybe clasping your fingers behind the right thigh if you can reach or even behind the right shin. So we're aiming our right knee towards the chest, but the left knee is still pressing out to the side and maybe forward a bit to get this stretch into the left hip. Breathe oxygen to the muscles and exhale, trying to relax any tension. Keep the arms relaxed the shoulders, the head. And then the optional extra, wherever you've got your hands, slide them so that you might want to straighten your right leg up towards the sky. Not going to be fully straight. We're just trying to change the flow of the blood holding your right calf and you might want to rotate the ankle in this position as well feels nice feels different and keep bringing that knee in as well it's really strong okay and exhale to lower the right foot back to the floor and let go of the thigh and uncross the legs and send them out long. Um, we're going to just do a couple more poses. So um, the first one, we're just going to hold our right knee into the chest. So bring the right knee in. Again, grabbing it behind the thighs, behind the shins. Now I just want you to take the right knee out towards the right shoulder so it's kind of like out to the side so allow the weight of the leg to stretch over to the right and then we can bring that right knee maybe swap hands 
bring it over to the left a bit. So again, a different bit of a supine twist. Left knee going out towards the left. Only go as far as you feel. Your knee might not touch the floor. You might move it away from you or closer to you, however feels comfortable, a nice stretch. And then come back to the middle and slide that right heel along the floor out long. Notice the difference in the legs again. And then we'll slide the left knee up towards the chest. So holding it behind the knee or the sides of the thigh over the shin, not directly on the knee, just somewhere. And we will then use a little bit of pressure, take the left knee over towards the left shoulder out to the side. And you might just use one with left hand using gravity to stretch into the left hip. And then bring that knee back into the middle, maybe swap hands and take the left knee over to the right. So this can be a twist again. You might twist over onto your right hip, left hip comes off of the floor if that feels good. Again, just take a twist as far as you want it to go. Breathe. And then bring that knee back to the middle and slide it along the floor, foot down, all the way out. We're next going to use the block for fish pose so place it so just roll on to one side and place the block between your shoulder blades okay so just experiment it's between your shoulder blades so that your shoulders and even your head are now going to have to be lower than your chest so this is a chest opening pose and you'll find you might be able to breathe more fully. Relax the arms out to the sides, you'll feel an opening in the front of the shoulders and relaxing the head and the neck opening the throat and the chest. So this is called supported fish pose. And you might find you can tilt back onto the crown of your head to look behind you. Gives a bit more of a stretch. And you might just adjust your back on the block. As you breathe and open the chest here. Gradually, if you were looking back, move your head back. Gently roll onto one side to remove the block from your back and put it behind your head. And we will come to rest because we've done everything in a supine class. The only thing we don't do is a balance. Hmm. Should I do a balance? I could add it in the video in a minute. Okay, we're going to take the block away for the minute. I will add this in. I should have done this after bridge. Okay, go back to bridge pose, which is your feet, your heels behind your hips. So this is the one where you raise up 
Oh, but this is a challenge. It's got to be good. So arms are by your sides with the palms face down. We're going to slide the left foot slightly over to the right. So it's almost a bit more central on your mat. And then we're going to lift our right leg up towards the sky. And it's quite strong. We're going to breathe in and then breathe out. Press into the left foot and lift the back of your body off the floor and lower. If you want to, you can repeat. So inhaling to lift, maybe only leave a little bit, exhale to lower. So this is all of the benefits of the leg stretch. And then lower. And lower the right foot down. And we're gonna put the right heel, the right foot where the left foot was, just a bit more central. Inhale the left leg up. And then exhale, push into the right foot, lift the hips off the floor. A little bit of a balance on that leg. Exhale, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Push into the foot. Inhale, lower. Last one if you can, don't worry if you can't, it's strong. Exhale, lift. This is a peak pose. And then replace the hips back down, replace the legs back down. Slide them out long away from you and feel your body relax after that peak pose. Okay, we're now going to come to relaxation. So after, I'm going to put the blocks behind our head, using them as a little pillow. Again, in this different position, you can just rock your head gently side to side for a neck massage. And then rest your arms slightly away from the body. It's a comfortable position for you. Imagine slightly opening up the under the arms. And the same thing with the legs. The heels might be slightly towards the edges of the mat with the feet gently relaxing out to the sides. And we will take some smooth deep breaths in and out as we did at the start. So feel the support of the earth beneath you. And then just lightly float the torso up as you breathe in. It raises, lifts, and then exhale, it lowers the air, comes out, and you relax more. We can do a visualization as we're relaxing, so just make sure everything is fully relaxed. So inhale, and then as you exhale, imagine some kind of wave taking away down your body, any stress or tension flowing away out your toes. Inhaling and then exhaling, any tension floating down away from you, out your fingers, out your toes. so that the body and the breath is really relaxed. We can perhaps now focus just on the mind. So I want you to imagine your favorite place. That can be anywhere in the world, any kind of environment, maybe beach, river, mountains, your own garden, somewhere where you feel completely happy and at ease. And 
then I want you to imagine some balloons for your lungs as they as you breathe in they inflate and maybe you lift up off the earth and you exhale to hover so the gentle inhaling takes you a little bit higher floating away noticing where you are maybe from a different perspective gently lifting rising with the inhales and floating softly as you exhale and if you want to you can travel around exploring where you are from a different perspective floating gently like a cloud in the sky feeling light feeling relaxed maybe noticing imagining looking back down at where you are from up up high and we'll now use the exhales to bring us back down so inhale to stay where you are and then exhale slightly longer to let the breath fully go out as you lower inhale stays where you are and then exhale lowering gently floating back down Imagining that cloud or maybe the balloons gently helping you lower all the way back down to the earth beneath you. And when you arrive back a big inhale through the nose lots of oxygen and exhale through the mouth sigh lots of carbon dioxide and then maybe just keep that open mouthed exhalation as you think about the connection you have to the earth your environment so the plants around you I'll take in that carbon dioxide and then they expire oxygen which we need which then forms a lovely circle connecting humans to nature in a special circle We will have to come out of this relaxation or if you wanted to pause the video if you're watching this and come back but we are just going to breathe in a little deeper send some energy oxygen to ankles and wrists fingers and toes wriggling anything that feels good to move maybe sliding the feet back in with the knees up as we did and then slowly turning onto one side. So you might want to take the block from out under your head or use it as a pillow on your side. So 
to relax. Take some deep breaths maybe in this curled up side position. And then slowly, carefully press into the earth to bring yourselves back to a seat. I hope you enjoyed that practice. Thank you. Practicing with me today. Be mindful how you think, speak, feel, and act the rest of your day.